steering components, and driver side axle. Yes. All right, well, I already have my key in my hand, so I'm going to start with underneath the hood. Put on latch. Open it up. Make sure that it's locked properly so it doesn't close on me. Underneath the hood, uh, from the top of the engine, I'm going to do uh, fluids. I'm going to check and make sure that my uh, coolant is reservoir. It has a sight glass. It's between uh, full cold and full hot, so it's in a safe operating range. All the hoses coming and going from it are all mounted securely. I don't see any dry rotting or cracking. I don't see any leaking from the container or the hoses themselves. All of my wires that I see on this side of the bus are primarily all in wire loop. They all look like they are secured properly with zip ties. I don't see any place where they're rubbing on anything. I don't see anywhere where they're worn through or parking of wires. Uh, I have my serpentine belt I can inspect on this side. It has uh, less than three quarters of inch of play in a wide area here. The serpentine belt itself is not dry rotted or cracked or free in any way. My serpentine belt uh, on this engine operates my uh, water pump, which from what I can see looks like it's mounted securely. I don't see anything uh, leaking from it. It also runs my alternator. My alternator is mounted securely to the engine. There's no loose or missing parts. It's not been broken or damaged. On this engine, um, those are the only two items that are belt driven. My uh, power steering and my air compressor are both uh, gear driven directly off the engine. And those items are underneath the engine. They're not easy for me to have. Uh, I also have my windshield washer fluid on this side of the bus, and I have at the sight glass, I can see I have enough for uh, my uh, this trip. There's nothing hanging or leaking underneath this side of the engine. I'm going to go to the other side of the engine. Check in. So my power steering fluid on this bus, I can see it has a sight glass. It also has a dipstick. But in the sight glass, I can see that it's in a safe operating range between cold and hot. It also has a dipstick that I can pull out, wipe off, uh, re-dip in, and pull out to check, make sure that it was at the proper operating level, as I would do also with my oil and my transmission fluid dipsticks. Once again, pull them out, wipe them off, put them all the way back in, pull them out, make sure they were in the uh, safe operating range. Uh, once again, all my hoses on this side are mounted securely with no leaks, and all my wires are mounted securely with uh, no damage or signs of uh, rubbing or fraying, and nothing is hanging or leaking on this side of the bus also. My steering components, I have my steering column itself is mounted securely. There's no loose or missing parts at the U-joints at the top and bottom here. My power steering box itself which is uh, gear driven off the engine. It's mounted securely to the frame. It's not bent, broken, or damaged. There's no loose or missing parts. The hoses coming and going from it are mounted securely with no damage, and they are not leaking. My uh, pitman arm, my drag link, and my tie rod are not bent, broken, or damaged, and they are all mounted securely with no loose or missing parts, especially the castle nuts and pins three major connection points there. I am going to, so those are my steering components. You said the front driver side axle. So my front driver side axle is suspension brakes tires. My suspension is my leaf spring. My leaf spring is not cracked or damaged or shifted in any way. It is mounted securely at the front and back at the leaf, hang, leaf hangers. The leaf hangers are mounted securely to the frame they're not bent, broken, or damaged, and there's no loose or missing parts. The U-bolts that connect it to the axle itself are not bent, broken, or damaged, and there's no loose or missing parts. My shock absorber is mounted to the frame and the axle. There's no loose or missing parts, and the shock absorber itself is not bent, broken, or damaged, and I don't see it leaking. 
I'm going to inspect my brakes next. So my air hose, my air hose is not rubbing against anything. It is properly mounted and I don't hear any air leaking from it. My brake chamber is mounted securely. There's no loose or missing parts. The chamber is not bent or cracked or damaged and I don't hear any air leaks coming from it. My push rod slack adjuster, um, this is an automatic slack adjuster, so there's no play. If it was a manual slack adjuster, I'd want less than an inch of play in it. Um, I can't see, we have uh, a dust cover here, so I can't see inside, but if I could, I'd be inspecting my uh, brake pads to make sure they were not overly thin or cracked and that there was no foreign debris such as uh, grease or oil or water or rust on them. Uh, in my brake drum itself, once again, if I could inspect the inside of it, I'd be looking to make sure that it was uh, not worn or cracked and also had no debris like oil or grease or water or rust on it. My tire on the front of the bus here needs to be at least 430 seconds. Of a tread, this one has at least that. Uh, it needs to be wearing evenly. This is. It cannot be a recapped or retreaded tire. This one isn't. Um, I need to check the tire pressure to make sure it's at least 120 psi. The valve step is straight, capped, and I don't hear it leaking. And I'd also check the sidewalls of the tire to make sure that they were not cracked or bulging or had a steel cord showing on the sides of the tires. The rim itself is not cracked or damaged, um, it's not uh, bent and there's no illegal welds on it. Check all the lug nuts to make sure they're properly secured with no signs of runny rust or shiny spots that they've been loose. Check the hub to make sure that it's mounted securely. Uh, there's no signs of spraying oil to show any signs of uh, leak on that. And uh, my mud flap here is mounted securely. There's no loose or missing parts or hardware. So that was underneath the hood, engine, steer, uh, steering components, and driver's side axle. I'm going to go ahead and close the hood for this section.